go over the squaring parent function. So the function that is defined by f of x equals x squared or y equals x squared. And so in order to do this, we want to memorize everything we can about its graph and its behavior. We're going to head over to GeoGebra, head down here to the input field, and we're going to type in y equals x squared. Now keep in mind, when you type this in, you have to use this caret symbol. So that would be above your 6 there. You have to hit shift 6. Y equals x squared, go ahead and hit enter. And notice that we have our squaring function right here. And so first things first, I'd like to clean this up a little bit before we bring it over to our canvas. But we'll right click on this, go to object properties. Okay, we have some options here. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to maybe a lighter blue. And I wanna make it a little bit more thick so that we can see it a little bit better. And uh, perhaps maybe a dotted style. Okay, so we'll close out of this, click off to the side. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag around this. We need to shift control C to copy it. Okay, not just control C or command C, but shift control or command C. We'll head back over to here to my Photoshop canvas and we'll just control V or command V it in here. So let me rearrange things a little bit, but let us discuss the squaring function, the parent function, everything we want to know about it, starting with this. The domain of this function is all real numbers. So we say an interval notation that would be negative infinity to infinity. And so you notice that our graph, no matter what X value you plug in, you should always get a Y value back. So it is defined from all the way out here on the left, all the way out on the left. So it would be here, all the way out to here on the X number line. It is always defined, okay? Uh, other things to mention about this, the range, okay? So the range, that would be Y values. Notice that the lowest height that it ever gets to is a height of zero, and it actually includes zero. So I shouldn't have done a dotted graph, it should be a solid graph, but it actually includes a height of zero and goes up forever and ever and ever. So our range is from zero and including zero, up to infinity. As far as if it's even or odd, we say this function is even. Okay, so even functions, it just means this. If I were to say f of x equals x squared, if we say a function is even, it just means when I plug in a negative x, I just get f of x. I get the same thing back. And just to show you what I mean here, if I were to plug in a negative x, negative x into this, I would get this, put in a blank and plug in a negative. Notice that I'm squaring this term. So I just get x squared anyways, and x squared, hey, that is exactly what we started with, which is dun, 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 f of x, which is what we started with. So any even function just means if I put in a negative x into the function, I get back to the original function that I started with here. I get the original thing back that we started with. So that being said, it just means that it's symmetrical about the y-axis, and that's an important thing to know. As far as intercepts go, it has just one intercept, uh, an x and a y intercept that occurs at 0, 0. And we say, notice that the graph has negative slope is decreasing on the interval of x values from 0 out to negative infinity. Another way to write this is negative infinity up to but not including 0. So you'll notice that I say the graph is decreasing on the x interval from negative infinity to zero. If you plug in those x values from left to right, our graph is decreasing and it is increasing here on the right. It is a positive slope thing. So starting in an x value of zero and going on out to all positive x values out to positive infinity, okay? So from zero out to infinity, we say it is increasing. And last but not least, we say this graph has a minimum. In this case, it is an absolute minimum. It has a lowest y value. But we call this spot here at the origin right here Okay, we call this also a relative minimum, but at zero, zero, it has a relative minimum. So cheers.